Joining us now is Andy Puzder, former CKE restaurant CEO. Andy, great to have you with us. Look, everywhere you go, whether it's gasoline, whether it's clothing, whether it's eggs, whether it's jewelry, bacon, I mean, you can't even eat breakfast anymore without seeing a 40% price increase. The Biden administration has not and continues to not take this issue seriously. What's really ahead over the next weeks and months here? Well, if we continue these policies of, of paying people not to work, incentivizing people not to work, you're going to see the uh, prices continue to go up. You know, on the one hand, we had people who couldn't work during the pandemic, which which uh, hobbled our supply chains. And then we've got the Democrats and Biden sending checks out to continue to encourage people not to work and increasing government benefits that encourage people not to work. So if people have cash. There's de- incredible demand for products coming out of this uh, this uh, pandemic, but you don't have people to work, for example, in the pork processing plants. Well, if people won't work in the plants, there's not going to be a lot of bacon. The price of bacon is going to go up. So if you continue these policies, you're going to continue to drive inflation. And, uh, you know, just heard Larry Kudlow talking about energy. Well, the, you know, this supply this supply chain problems uh, with the uh, with people being discouraged from working are going to continue for a long time particularly if the Democrats get these bills through Congress. You know, that's the thing you're noticing. It's not just the price increases, but it's the shelves. It's the emptiness of the shelves. It's the inability to get something that you used to be able to get like this. You've got this story now that the big retailers are chartering their own cargo ships to try to get product here in time for the holidays, which is great. They got to do what they need to do. But Medium-sized businesses, small businesses, Andy, they can't do this. They end up on the losing end once again from these policies. Well, everybody's going to pay for those ships. You know, those ships that are they're they're having to uh, to charter or they're or they're having to uh, lease out for periods of time. Those those are very expensive. That's going to drive the price of their goods up. The the middle middle and small uh, businesses are going to see their prices go up because they're not going to be able to get goods. So the ones that they do get, they're going to have to up, pay up for. Or they're not going to get them at all. So th- this is this is the Biden inflation tax. And as you know, inflation is a tax that hits working and middle class families very hard. Uh, and we're going to be seeing a lot of it over the coming months. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw inflation rates reminiscent of those in the early 1980s mm. uh, at the end of the Carter and beginning of the Reagan administration. So watch out. Uh, the, the inflation inflation is coming. And it's not just it's just as goods, it's energy, it's whatever this administration touches. Uh, they're driving up the price of everything. So we've got a lot of small business owners, people who work in small businesses watching this program. You're a guy who knows a lot about that space. What are you telling small businesses right now to adapt? They've got to survive some way. What can they do at this moment to try to give themselves another couple months of breathing room? Well, they're, you know, they're reducing hours. Um, and, uh, you know, some people are just closing, but many are reducing hours to cut back on labor. Uh, with restaurants, the restaurants are seeing success moving out into the streets. Uh, that, that'll help in the good weather because they don't pay rent on that space and they can get more people in and people that uh, otherwise wouldn't be coming to the restaurant. But this this is a very tough environment. It, I, you know, I, I, my best advice to anybody in any business is be careful how you vote. Uh, because coming up in 2022, we may have an opportunity to put a halt to some of this. Uh, but be very careful how you vote and who you support, because these policies are going to kill small businesses, they're going to kill middle-sized businesses, and they're going to hurt large businesses. This is just a very bad economic climate. Yeah, you know, that's the sad thing about all of this. The big retailers, they can adapt. They're going to come through it okay. But it's the little guy time and time again who gets nailed. Andy Puster, glad to have your perspective on this. Thanks for joining us. Pleasure being here. Thank you.